Greetings my dear followers. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to add page numbers and different page number styles. I would highly recommend you to watch my tutorial about importing data from MS Word into Adobe InDesign. The card has just appeared at the top of this video. If you want, you can pause this video, go check it out, then follow along with me in this tutorial. As you can see, the page numbers are lying on the bottom of the page. Let me remove these page numbers first and start from the scratch. I need to go to the page panel, go to window and click pages. The shortcut key is F12. These are the parent pages that can be linked to any of these pages in this document. And these are the main pages of this document. Note the pages have alphabet A at the top of this thumbnail. However, check this page thumbnail has alphabet B at the top. This means that the pages labeled with alphabet A have parent page A master and the pages labeled with the B have parent page B master. Let me explain it. Double click the B master thumbnail and notice that this page number contains the border at the top and the page number at the bottom. So the pages linked to the B master will have both effects of border and page number. First of all, I will delete all these parent pages from the panel. We cannot delete the primary A master page, but do not worry because when you create any new document in Adobe InDesign, A master pages are already available in page panel. However, you can delete only one page of the A master page. Great. Now let's remove the page number from the bottom of this page. When we go back to the pages, notice that all these page numbers are gone because these pages were linked to their parent pages which I have removed already. Therefore, we need to create a parent page for all these pages. We are going to focus on a master page. Let me draw the orange rectangle right over here. Now draw the text box right over here. Now write down page 1. Now highlight the number 1 text and increase the font size to give it a stylish look. I am giving it the font Veneer Clean. Now, I will assign automatic page number system on this number 1. Select this number and go to type, insert special character, markers, current page number and the shortcut key is Ctrl Alt Shift N. Notice that the page number has turned into alphabet. This means that all the pages in this document that are linked to a master page will follow the counting with page number style same as a master page. To make this clear, let me create a new master page called B master page. I am keeping the page numbers to 1 for now. Now let's copy the page number style from a master and paste it in B master. Notice that this is page B rather than the page A. Open the first page. Notice that it has no page number. Let's drag a master page and apply on the first page. Here we have a page number starting from 1 and the counting goes on. Now I'm going to B master page. Let's give it a different page number style. I'm drawing this text box and let's write page 1 of 26. Select this number 1 and repeat the same steps we did before and apply a special character effect to this text. Now it is page B of 26. Let's place this text at the center bottom of this page. 
Now, let's apply Beamaster page effect on this first page. See, out of all the pages, this page has different page numbering style. It's because it has been linked to the Beamaster. So what if I apply Beamaster to the next page? And see that the page numbering style is being followed along with the previous page. Now let's create a new master page called CMaster. And let it be only one page. I am giving it a new page numbering style. Use the text box. The shortcut key is T. Type here page vertical bar 1. And select this number. Go to type. Insert special character, markers, and current page numbers. Shortcut key is Ctrl or Shift N. I will give this text dark gray color. Let me place this page number at the right bottom of this page. Let us go back to the fourth page and apply C master effect on it. Notice that the page 4 has different page number style than the page number 3 because it is linked to the C master page. So what if I apply A master to this page? Now this page is following the page numbering style same as A master page. So do the B master and C master. Overall, all these pages will follow their respective master pages. Please subscribe to my channel for more amazing content. See you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.